We work on water and social justice issues um, uh, across the country, in Canada and around the world uh, internationally. We are a uh, rich country both in terms of water resources and economic resources, but unfortunately um, uh, Canada has been very irresponsible when it comes to uh, the protection of our uh, natural water resources, our lakes and rivers. Um, it's uh, been irresponsible when it comes to the services in terms of funding um, uh, adequate services. Uh, we have a, an excellent uh, public drinking water system in the country right now, but it's severely underfunded. Uh, municipalities are struggling um, to, to maintain the, the excellent quality of service that they have always offered um, their uh, communities. Uh, and increasingly our federal government is pushing to privatize our uh, water and sanitation systems. Canada has been tremendously irresponsible, neglectful, abusive when it comes to indigenous communities. Um, indigenous communities are um, uh, much more likely um, to uh, live without access to clean drinking water and sanitation. Uh, the situation is deplorable. Um, and shameful for a rich country like Canada. We also have um, allowed mining companies, we are allowing our mining companies to dump toxins directly into our lakes and rivers. We have industries like the tar sands which are over extracting our water resources um, and polluting um, our freshwater resources and so um, uh, Canada is uh, not sheltered from the global water crisis. In fact, uh, increasingly we're seeing shortages in Canada. We're seeing um, uh, a, a, a close to a fifth of our municipalities in recent years have faced water shortages and we're seeing large-scale destruction of, our, of the quality of our water resources um, and increasingly uh, a, a lack of um, uh, uh, a failure to promote and protect uh, our water services um, in Canada. So our, our government is also negotiating a trade deal at the moment with Europe um, that will allow companies uh, like Veolia and uh, Suez, um, European water companies, water and sanitation companies to have greater access to um, services, to public services in Canada um, and also to, uh, to better protect their rights um, in, in Canada. And recently, uh, the UN General Assembly recognized water as a human right. Canada had worked very hard in the years leading up to that to prevent uh, the recognition of water as a human right. Uh, and uh, if you look at the record of Canadian mining companies abroad, um, it's very clear why Canada has blocked um, or tried to block the, the recognition of water as a human right. A large percentage of the world's mining companies, 30 to 40 percent of um, mining companies extractive uh, industries in the world are financed by Canada, by um, uh, Canadian funds. Uh, and, uh, and if you look in countries, um, particularly in Latin America uh, and in Africa, the face of Canada abroad um, is that of our mining companies that are destroying water resources and violating um, human rights uh, in communities around the world. We have the potential to be a leader in the world when it comes to uh, promoting water as human right, when it comes to protecting water resources, but instead uh, our government is uh, doing the opposite. Um, and uh, we are very ashamed of this as, as Canadians. We are thrilled uh, that, um, uh, you know, in the, uh, that the, the UN General Assembly has recognized water as a human right, um, uh, but uh, we are uh, at a point where we need to see this important resolution implemented. We are working with our allies around the world um, to ensure that uh, uh, the human right to water is implemented in communities and in countries um, around the world, um, that, uh, that, that, uh, that the recognition of water as a human right be claimed 
by uh, the public, by communities, um, for us to use it as a tool to uh, fight for um, uh, public control uh, of water and sanitation uh, services and infrastructure, for us to use it as a tool in our fight against the destruction of water resources um, by uh, mining and extractive industries, by um, uh, hydro uh, fracturing uh, uh, co companies that are engaged in hydro fracturing, um, that we not allow the other side, um, uh, water corporations, to appropriate that language and appropriate it as a tool for themselves. So now is a the time, there's an opportunity for us to come together as communities to claim this um, as a tool in our struggles uh, for, for, for water justice. Uh, we are fighting very hard to ensure that water is um, protected as a commons. Um, as water scarcity increases around the world, uh, there is a um, greater struggle between uh, private interests um, and those who are working to protect water as a commons. And uh, so uh, we think that'll be a, a big focus of the alternative forum in Marseille. Uh, many of the workshops in different ways will address the importance of water as a commons and um, we hope to uh, come together with, uh, with our friends and allies uh, from around the world to discuss strategies on how to protect water um, as a commons because uh, the, the, those struggles will uh, no doubt, or we're already seeing uh, those struggles intensifying around the world. Uh, and uh, so it's an important time for us to come together. Also in the lead up to Rio plus 20, we're seeing water uh, uh, being appropriated, um, or the green economy, green language, environmental discourse being appropriated by uh, corporations that are promoting uh, false solutions to the climate crisis, big dams, um, biofuels, um, uh, uh, the, the, the financialization of nature. And so uh, it's important that we address that as well as a movement, uh, that we come together uh, uh, to, to talk about uh, a green economy for the people, uh, a green economy that benefits nature and not uh, the green capitalist uh, economy or the greenwashed uh, 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 economy uh, that they're talking about, uh, that they're going to be talking about in, uh, at, the, at the Earth Summit in Rio Plus 20. Um, it's important that we use this opportunity in Marseille to promote our vision and our alternatives uh, for, for, for greater water justice.